Well, you know, I think that one one um, example that many observers have put out there in recent days is just how concerned um, the world is about Pakistan's situation. Is that um, you know, just last weekend, the Chinese foreign minister was in Islamabad and he publicly called on Pakistan to restore political stability. It's very unusual when you have a, a senior Chinese official uh, comment at all publicly on internal matters in Pakistan, but he did that. And then very soon after that, Khan was arrested and then we had this, this chaos of the last few days. So clearly China, which one could argue is Pakistan's most important ally, uh, one of its most important economic backers, China is likely very concerned about what is playing out, especially after its uh, its very bold public call on Pakistan to get things back in order was completely ignored. It was not heeded at all. Uh, so China is going to be very concerned. And I think that, you know, if you look, turn things back to the economic crisis, the IMF is looking for indications that Pakistan's key creditors are going to be willing to you know, commit to to assistance, to financial assistance. But given how things are playing out and these images of you know people setting fire to military facilities and all of these violent images, you know, I think that many of Pakistan's external uh, donors are going to be uh, very hesitant, if not completely unwilling to um, commit to, to any type of support. And the IMF itself you know, clearly is, is not going to be comfortable uh, re unlocking funds at such a chaotic moment like this. So suggest to me that uh, Pakistan's economy, which is already such a mess, could be moving much closer to a default uh, within the next few weeks. Final point on this, you know, as you know, Pakistan has an image problem, a global image problem. It has for years. It's tried to repair, tried to repair it. There have been some improvements in the sense that terrorism issues, terrorism uh, violence had, had been reduced in recent years. But um, you know, given what's happened over the last few days, it's going to harden these perceptions of Pakistan as just this basket case of a country. And that is a strong, that is a strong perception that harbored by many around the world. And it may not be fair, but, um, you know, given the day, given what's happened the last few days, it's just, I think, going to make it more difficult to expect countries, including foreign investors, to want to engage in, commit financing, commit capital, commit any type of inputs to Pakistan at, at such a, a, a terribly chaotic moment like this.